Hey guys, Ben Simpson here at Simpson Plays and welcome back to another part of our Creedfall adventure. Now in the last one, if you guys remember, we had a decision to make. Do we attack the rebels, you know, the innocent tribe people, or do we leave them alone? Now, I didn't have any comments on what I should do, so I have come to my own conclusion of... I'm gonna be the nice guy. I, I came to I, I, yeah. I'm gonna be the nice. Guy. I don't like these guys. I don't like those zealots. I don't like them. Um, kidnapping people and all that stuff. I, I don't like that. I, I don't like. I don't like these lot like colonizing and coming to like. These natives were here before them, and they're just like kidnapping them, experimenting on them, torturing them, all that stuff. What? Why? <laughs> so no, I'm gonna leave them. So yeah, so. Sit back, grab a snack, grab a drink, enjoy yourselves, put your feet up, you know, all that good stuff. And make sure to like, comment, subscribe down below, hit the bell for notifications to keep up to date with what's going on in the channel. And yeah, let's resume. So let's go make that decision then. Hello, don't, don't worry. worry, I come in, I'm peace. in peace. I only I wish to speak, speak to your leader. Oi, I'm the leader of this camp. Hope you guys can't see my face now as well on this one. Be? My name is the Sade. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. The congregation? Are those the Lugaid Blau? The yellow eyes? It's possible, yes. We live in the city south of the island. That's right. We hold no grudge against your people. Talk. I'm listening. I've come to speak to you about your attacks against all those who take the road. It's interesting that they speak the same language, isn't it? I really apologize for the sound of that presentation. I can't. We must tell you how much them. I wish I could get That's rid of the it. price of war. If you fight, you risk being taken prisoner. I am not talking about warriors, Renaikse, but villagers kidnapped in our villages. They mainly attack on all Menawi. Those carrying the mark of the bond like you. They capture them, and we never see them again. We don't know what they are doing to them, but we are going to release them. I see. But our merchants have no role in this. They are not warriors. So why can't you that one there is drinking in the back? We brought food back to our enemies. We could not let them pass. If your merchants had fled, we would not have pursued them. But they resisted. So they do it. The city of Loyans is no longer to receive food or weapons. Nothing. In that case, I'm sorry to tell you that you failed. The road is not the only way to transport goods. Many things are transported by sea. Listen, Listen, if what, if you, what told you told me is true, I fully understand why you're fighting. I'm even ready to help you clear up these disappearances, as long as you spare our merchants. You no longer need to worry about it. That was our last attack. Our troops are ready, and soon we will make the Luyan pay for the harm it has brought upon us. What are you talking about? Soon, the Donea Ektragal will march together, and we will free our brothers. Can you Believe guarantee it. that our merchants will now be able to take this road without risking their lives? I always keep to my word. The time for small attacks is over. Now is the time of war. I'm afraid you're heading straight into a massacre. But since you promised me that our caravans will be spared, I have fulfilled my mission. Go in peace. We should prepare ourselves. Wow. Well, it's about to be war. Uh, I guess we're heading back. Oh. I've completely forgotten how to run, run this game. Anything around here of interest? No. Let's head home then. I guess we're going to have to go back to where we came. I don't think there's a way to fast travel in this game. Oh, big boy. Let's go take out the big boy. I hope I will not regret letting them go. They are so full of hatred for the Alliance. Back off, back off, back off. Back off. Then if they are actually ready for a pitch battle, there will be piles of corpses. I have to admit that the story of this attack is concerned. We should that thing kicked the heck out of me. We can also inform him that the convoys will now be running smoothly. Bit of poison on my blade. Head ready to go! 
Ooh, it's unbalanced. Ooh, I did a lot of damage from that one. That, oh my goodness. These things do so much damage. I feel a bit of gunfire won't deal with it. Down it goes. Alright, how do, you, how do you loot it? There you go. Give it a loot. Put it away? No. Wait, what? I, I'm, I don't know why I'm completely forgetting how to play this game for some reason. I apologize, guys. Climb. Let's go back. Let's go back to where we came. Climb the ladder. Two, three, four, five, six. With the way he was taking his time. Wait, eh? where's the way I'm going to be going? This is has to be, doesn't it? it? Has to be this way. This way's a damn dead end. I'm actually so lost and confused about where I'm meant to be going right now. I do know that we need more bullets, that's for sure. Like we're on three, no, two left after that shot we just took. Oh, we got some more loot over here. Beast Essence. Are we not back to where we... I'm lost. Okay, um, map. Yeah, there's definitely no way to fast travel. We actually have to work out how to get back ourselves. Alright, we're going the right way. If I check the map every two seconds, I apologize. I just have no clue where I'm meant to be going. Don't know why, but like transitioning from Ghost Recon to this today has just completely mashed up my head and just can't process where we're supposed to be going. Oh my gosh, I've been scared the crap out of me. I thought, oh no, another fight. Uh, oh no, let's just keep going now. Let's just walk back. We have to go back anyway. The beauty of this game is, it's all right. It's quite nice. Uh, character models are a bit yeah, at times. I think it's a little bit making a damn lot of sound when it's moving. Let's tell them about the incoming attack. I hope you guys get your ass whooped, but it probably won't. Talk to me. Hello, Captain. Your Excellency, what can I do for you? I managed to trace the rebels who attacked the caravans. They will no longer be a problem. You eliminated them? No, that's not necessary. But you must know that this group is part of a much bigger army. An army that is ready to go to war against Hikmet. We have been at war with the rebels for a long time. They did not speak of skirmishes, but of a pitched battle. They want to free their imprisoned comrades and will stop at nothing to do so. This is terrible news. We must prepare the troops immediately. I'll send a message to Governor Buran. Thank you for warning us, Your Excellency. You've given us a chance to resist their assault. I know it's not much, but I hope you'll accept this as a token of gratitude. Thank you, Captain. What, what did we get? 150. Is that it? Oh, that's... Ooh, level up. Let us see. Right, 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 right. Let's, let's sit forward for this one. Where do we want to go with... Oh, no, I want to go up this route. Don't I don't want to keep going up this route. Yeah, I want to keep doing that. Attributes. No. Aha. Uh -huh. Right, so. 
Increasing our strength would be very useful. Increasing accuracy is also a necessity. Ooh. We're going to increase accuracy this time around. And then go after strength later. I think that was the right decision. I think that's what we want to do. Right, um, let us go. So, wait, what side quests do we actually have on this? Um, acquire sleeping pills. Oh, we have acquired the sleeping pills. Oh, what? Okay. Be a victor in the arena. Not quite that one yet. Go to the woods of to meet the natives. Probably just did that one already. Fourth challenge. Old talk to vaccinations. Reach the village of oh. Okay. Um well I guess we're travelling to the to New Serene either way, so let's get going. Got some quests to do in New Serene. Take this guy because he's a safer route, a quicker route to New Serene. How much do you actually cost again? Greetings. My caravan goes through all the cities, and the journey is safe. So, where would you like to go? Ten gold coins. Yeah, fine. We'll travel to New Serene. Ah, the sunset's gone. Through my window you can perfectly see like the sunset and it's kind of getting dark in here isn't it oh no oh no i didn't clock that i did not clock it we're getting dark in here oh that's not good my light is not plugged in and it's getting really really dark outside um i'm going to, need to turn up the brightness on the camera aren't I? um for this video, it's kind of a bit screwy. Like, I don't think I can do anything to rectify the problem right now. Blacksmith. Oh, Never mind that. I bullets. Okay. Uh, oh, he doesn't sell bullets. It sells this sort of stuff, doesn't it? Two hands, we can't use that. One hand, you need a jelly of two. God oh, damn it. Let's talk to our cousin about the problems facing us back home. If you remember, we've got a horrible disease throughout the land. There's a mystery mark up there. What does that mean? Oh, it's even darker in here than on my face. Talk to me. You have returned to me. Your absence was sorely felt. We don't appear to be in top form. A house intrigue's keeping you from finding proper sleep. No, nothing to bring me nightmares as of yet. I'm blaming it on the change of diet. Now, tell me what adventures you've been up to. If you only knew how bored I grow behind these walls. I would like, if you would allow me the honor, to introduce Bishop Petrus, emissary of Telele. Your Highness, may the light warm you in its holy embrace. Enchanted to meet you, my father. I've come here to present respects from Teleme and best wishes from the Mother Carton. She has my most sincere thanks. But before speaking further, I would like to discuss matters with my cousin, if you would be so kind. Um, his parents. Let's go with that one. the neighboring cities as you asked them. Tell me then, was your journey adventurous? Well, 
I was able to gain audience with the governors, give them your regards, and glean some information. I would not have allowed anything bad to happen to him, Your Highness. Oh, it's just us here, Kurt. Why not continue to call me by my given name? Carry on with your story, cousin. I'm impatient to know what secrets our illustrious neighbors have discovered. The Bridge Alliance believes that a remedy could possibly be found by studying the local flora. They are quite motivated, but their research expedition has gone missing and there is no sign of life. And since they themselves are under constant attack, they cannot spare a rescue party to investigate. The Mother Cardinal, in her opinion, believes the Malachor to be a result of a curse. A curse cast by a demon. An evil creature worshipped by a cult of island natives. If you would allow me to second the request of our Mother Cardinal, we are in dire need of your help. Our Inquisitors are hardly diplomats, and... But I should let you finish, my son. They have started their investigations in a village where strange events have been taking place. But they're unable to get to the bottom of it. The population keeps its secrets. And Teleme hopes that we might help them learn more about the cult. This is all extremely interesting. You have lived up to my expectations, as always. That said, we find ourselves between the rock and the hard place. The bridge is already in open conflict with the island natives. Teleme and their inquisitors. We're going to have to tread on eggshells, but let's follow all the clues to their mysteries. We need to help them continue their investigations. Perhaps one will lead us to something useful. I don't know well, a lot yeah. of men as well. I agree. And since I only trust you among them, take Kurt and any others that seem useful. I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to you. If you would allow me, Your Highness, I would be honored to assist your cousin on his investigation. Very well, then. You could He's got a very, like, strong voice. The precise location of your nasty village. Of course, Your Highness. I should have thought of that sooner. Allow me to mark the location on your map, my son. Thank you. I like his voice. It's very strong. I will take care of all matters at hand. Anything else? Any news of your parents? No. With the time it takes to travel to the continent, it's not surprising. But I don't miss them. My father's next letter will certainly be full of his usual disdain. As for my mother, you know, she's probably too busy planning her next assassination to have noticed my absence. Oh my god. Are you liking your new role as a governor? How does it feel? Honestly? Once the thrill of the first few days is over, it's... Boring. I receive delegations from everywhere. They arrive with their arms full of presents to make me sign some agreements. Most of them take me for a fool, who will be easily convinced by some silver trinket. I would love to simply brush them all off and work on some real projects. I have so many ideas to make this city, this island, truly amazing. Well, with that we'll leave. Goodbye, Constantine. Look out for yourself. Constantin. <laughs> That's what his actual name is. Not Constantine. Constantin. <laughs> what is that thing upstairs? I want to know what it is. Right. Let's um, not do no sneaky sneaky. Let's go see if we can figure out what's upstairs. I don't get it. There's a question mark upstairs and questions need to be answered. What's going on in here then? Come on. I want questions with answers, man. Nothing up here. You guys saw, did see it on the map as well. I'm not the only one that saw it or something like that, am I? There was definitely some sort of question mark up there. Well, there's nothing in here. Imagine living in these days, man. I couldn't imagine. Look how dark it is in these rooms, man. I'd be sleeping every two seconds. I can't do dark rooms. I go, I literally start nodding up like... <laughs> that's just what happens. I can't do it. It's just... No. Well, I mean... Yeah, I guess there's nothing else we can do. That in here, so I guess... Oh, not that. This, that's how you get to... It. I keep forgetting that's not how you get to many of these games anymore. Reach the village of the uh, 
We found this one. Man, we've got a lot of quests still, but we'll do the side quest or try and do the side quest first. Where is it? Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. And yeah, that one. Right, let's go do that one. Let's go. Don't know what why it's doing that, but let's skedaddle. Go talk to the brothel owner. Brothels man. <laughs> Imagine just you know you just you just stressed out. You know, CK3 is starting to stressed out, you know. Aha! Uh -huh. We do get to say those words. Oh no, we don't. How do I put this stuff away again? Ah, there we go. Open up the save. Ah, oh, i got some ammo as well, much needed. Like I said, just imagine you're stressed out, you had a bad day, you know, you blow some steam, and you literally go blow some girls back out. <laughs> uh, that's just mad, man. The concept of a brothel is just hilarious to me. Oh, paying for sex. <laughs> I could never. I could never. Uh, where is this guy? Is this the owner of the brothel? No, he says he's downstairs. Downstairs what? Um, how do I get downstairs? This way. Um, that's the arena. Where's the brothel owner? Is he in here? Ah, so this is a brothel. I thought it looked like one. Let's talk to this guy. Yes, why? You looking to have a good time? Oh, that just sounds weird it from like same from him. Girls and wine to the harbor office every night. So there's no law against that, is there? No. And I'm not here to stop you. Listen, Zita, we just wanted to add a secret ingredient to your wine tonight. What? Are you joking? Are you trying to slip a laxative in it? We were thinking more of sleeping pills. Nothing bad, you see. Listen, I have nothing against a little prank, but I can't risk losing my best customers. Let's try a charisma. It's been working. Tosco is very influential among the Norts. Maybe he could help expand your excellent clientele even further. If you accept, I could arrange for your agreement to come to fruition. In San Mateus, for example. San Mateus? I would have to recruit. But yeah, that would be interesting. So then, do you agree? <laughs> yes, that's fine. Tonight your friends will receive their delivery. Seasoned. Now, My man said seasoned that I'm dead. <laughs> My man said seasoned. <laughs> that's funny. That was that was actually that was actually hilarious. Just to make sure you avoid confrontation. Good idea. I'll see to it. And how how does it expect me to dress as a knot? Ooh, what's this shield medallion? Take that. Let's go. Confrontation doesn't bother me. I'll just kill anyone. Ooh, another open up the safe opportunity. Open up the safe. Yes, nice. Right, so let's head over here and hopefully do this mission very quickly. Um, up we get or not. Where are we going? Dieter's girls will arrive later tonight. In your usual clothes, you'll not go unnoticed at all. But it's up to you. Um, I, I literally don't have anything. I can't bother trying to figure out how to get it. girls to do their work as planned. Then we'll enter. Very well. It's definitely the safer option. 
Dieter's daughter is gone. Your guards should get a good night's sleep now. You should go. I'll wait here as planned. I can't risk getting caught there. Don't worry. I'll make sure not to hurt anyone. Good luck, Dishazi. Yeah, I didn't want to dress up as a knot. I can't bother. Alright. Pop the fence. Let's go. Open up the safe. Take it all. I want it all. I want it all. Anyone patrolling back here? Nah, that was busy getting their booty. They're too busy getting some ass and drinking and now they, they are asleep. Let's go in, please don't be awake. Locked. Oh, for God's sake. Open the key. There we are. Let's head upstairs. Ooh. Please don't see me, please don't see me, please don't see me, please don't see me. I just don't want no one to see me, I don't want to have to hurt anyone. Okay. Open up the safe. Alright, we got it. Let's get the hell out of here. Go. Oh, it's looking bright outside, I'm not gonna lie. It is looking very bright out there. We're quick and we're quiet and we won't see shit. Now let's leave. Whoa. Alright, let's go. I'll pretend we were never here. Oh, there we go. Nice and done. We did it. Another cutscene, guys. To end the video. And nobody saw me. Wonderful. You did everything perfectly. So, let's see what this file can tell us. So I was right. My real name is Leandra, son of the Darcy family from Serene. Nobles, I suppose. Yes. I must admit, I had no idea they'd given a son to the Norths. To think that I spent my childhood polishing ship bridges when I could have been wearing silk. I'm sorry for you, Vasco, but growing up in nobility is not as simple as it sounds. Really? Well... Why, Why is this screen so dark, I've by the way? My real name, <laughs> thanks to you, and that's what I wanted. Leandra Darcy. I remember coming across a Darcy at my uncle's court. Your brother, no doubt. My brother? What was he like? It was a long time ago. We were children. I couldn't tell you what he looks like today. A brother? I wonder if we are alike despite our completely different lives. Thank you for sharing this and for telling me. Very doubtful, mate. You gave it's like Blood Brothers. My identity. And we've ever seen that. It's a this good example of two brothers growing up in different households. One rich, one poor. Alright guys, we did it. So, this is where we're going to end this video. In the next one, uh, I'll be honest, I don't know what we're doing. Let's have a see. Let's have a look, see what we could be doing. We will probably head for... Oh, side quests. What's, we got a new side quest? No. I mean, we'll probably head for the village of Verb, whatever that is. We'll head for that one. So yeah, in between the videos, I'll try and go to a merchant, look for ammo, and look for other stuff. Uh, other than that, um, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe down below. Um, hit the bell notification to keep up to date with the channel. And yeah, hope you enjoyed yourselves as always and I love you and leave you. Peace guys. Mm -hmm.